Hello and welcome back to our video classroom here at CSEC Math Tutor. Um, in this lesson, we are going to be focusing on the measurement and area of rectangles and triangles. Specifically, we are going to be looking at squares and rectangles and triangles. And so our objective is just to apply the correct formula to calculate the areas of um, rectangles squares and triangles and first we begin by looking at um, rectangles and notice here we have a grid a rectangle rectangular grid and it's divided into smaller squares and each of these squares we're going to call them a unit square and we can count these squares and determine the area of this rectangular region that we have here so we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight squares in this direction. And in this direction, we have one, two, three, four squares. So by counting the entire um, number of squares, we have eight in each row. So eight and eight and eight and eight. And we can combine that, eight fours, and we get our answer to be 32 unit squares. And this is the simplest way of going about finding the area of a rectangle by counting the squares. And in the event now that there aren't any squares to count, we can go to the idea of saying, all right, since we have eight units along this side, call them centimeter for now, and four units along this side, four centimeters, then we can go about by saying that we can determine the area of a rectangle by multiplying the length times the width since the shape is uniform. So we can say then that the area of a rectangle um, would be can be calculated using the length times the width, in which case we multiply eight times four, and that can give us 32, in this case, centimeters square, since we're using centimeters. So it's a very simple thing. We can apply that to different shapes. For example, here we have a compound shape, um, which we need to find the area of. And we can do this in one or two ways. Um, we could go ahead and calculate the, create a bigger shape, calculate the area of that shape, and then take out this piece that is not there. Um, some persons tend to like to do it another way. Some persons like to split the shape. Um, so if you choose to split the shape this way by um, cutting it along that line, then you realize that you have two rectangles, one on this side and one on this side. And the area for this one would be 4 times 3. Here's a length and a width, so to speak, and that would give us 12. So 4 times 3. And then the area for this one, here we have a height or a length. And then we need to determine this side as to how long it is. This entire um, length at the top is 8 centimeters. And from this point to this point is 3, which would mean that the length here would be 8 take away 3, which would be 5. So this is 5. And so we can um, apply that same idea of length times which, which would be 5 times 2. And that would give us 12 plus 10. And that would give us 22. And in case you wanted to cut it in another direction, then we could cut it in another direction by um, splitting it across this region. And so we have two other rectangles. In this case, one, two. And so we have a length here, which is eight, and the width, two. So we have eight times two. And that would give us 16. And we have a smaller rectangle um, here at the base. We have three um, for one measurement, and we need to find the other measurement. Now notice that this side is four. This side is two. So we know that this part here is two, and we can simply say then, Three times two gives us six. And adding our two results, 16 plus six gives us 22 centimeters square. So there are a number of different ways that you can go about um, using the area of a rectangle to apply it to different compound shapes by simply cutting them up or by um, multiplying. Um, we could actually fill out the shape and then subtract this part that, that was added. So that's one way in looking into the area of a rectangle and the area of a square. Um, moving on, we can go to the area of a triangle and notice here that we have the same, the same, um, shape, which should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight units long. 
and calling them centimeters and um, four centimeters high. Now, the area for this four times eight gave us um, 32 cm square. But if we notice then, if, if we take a straight line and draw through a diagonal, then what we get is two different rectangles. And those two rectangles, one on this side, two different triangles rather, one on this side and one on the other side. And so we can, um, if we wanted to find the area of this triangle, then we know that all we had to do was split this answer in two. So we would have 32 divided by two would give us 16 centimeters square. And that would be the area of each triangle. Um, make it, making it a little bit more general, say that if this is the base and this is the height, or this is the length and that is the width, then we can make a more general idea of how to go about calculating the area of, of a triangle. So we could say um, the base multiplied by the height and then divide that by two. And that could give us a general formula for finding the area of the triangle. Notice that this is a right angle triangle because it's a it's, um, rectangle. So this angle here would be a right angle. Um, naturally, there would be a right angle as well. So we have a height, and by height we mean vertical height, um, perpendicular height, and then there's another height, which is slant height. So we have here a slant height, and we have here a perpendicular height, because this side make is perpendicular to this one. So we have a vertical height. And in using this version of the formula, area equal half base times height, we're using this um, perpendicular height and not the slant height. So we can use this formula here to calculate the area of the triangle, which would be, um, since the area is given as the half the base times the height, it would be half times 12 times five in no particular order which would give us six times five, and that would give us 30 centimeters square. So this is one way in which we can find the area of a triangle. There are other ways, there are two other ways at least. And so we're going to be looking at those two. And um, another one, which is a very interesting formula, is a formula called Heron's formula. And Heron's formula is very interesting where if you have the three sides of a triangle and you're not interested in what, which is, um, vertical, uh, which is perpendicular height, or which is base, we just have three sides, then we can use this very interesting formula to calculate the area of the triangle. Now here we have A plus B plus C. Notice that A plus B plus C would give it the perimeter. So A plus B plus C over two is sometimes called the semi-perimeter. And what we do is that we just add those three sides and then we apply it to this um, formula here. So this is a second way in which we can go about finding the area of a triangle. Let's try it on this one. Remember, we just found the area for this um, and found it to be 30 centimeters square. So we can go ahead, um, work out S. S would be equal to the, the semi-perimeter. So we add the three sides, 12 plus 13 plus 5 over 2. And that gives us 30 um, over 2, which is 15. So the semi-perimeter is 15. And then we apply the semi-perimeter to the sides by saying 15 into 15 minus 13, um, 15 minus 12, and 15 minus 5. And that gives us 15 times 2 times 3 times 10, which gives us a grand total of 900. And the, we then find the square root of 900. And the square root of 900 here is 30 centimeters square. So it's a very, very useful formula. It's very useful to know um, in a case where you don't have the luxury of knowing what side is, is perpendicular height and what side is base. You just have the three sides and you can apply that formula to find in the area of your triangle. The other formula that we want to look at is using trigonometry. Um, and using trigonometry, we often use this formula, A is equal to half AB sine C. Um, there's a simple proof here, which I won't bother to go through. Um, it's not exactly necessary now, as CXE doesn't ask us to prove it. But in case you wanted to prove it, then the area of this triangle here would be the um, half the base 
times the height. So this is the base, BC, times the height, H. And if we look at this triangle um, on this side, so this triangle here, then the angle, the angle um, C here, so we can find H in terms of uh, using trigonometry. So using, using um, trigonomic ratios, the sine of C would be equal to H. Um, that's the opposite side over the hypotenuse. And so um, H would be equal to B um, sine C. And just substituting that into this formula, um, we end up with half B. Um, using this side, this side is um, given as A. So we use that side as A. And then the height is given as B sine C. And so it's a very, very simple proof to see where the formula comes from. Um, I haven't ever seen CXE ask about it, but it will definitely ask you to use it to find the area of a triangle. Or um, you will have to know when to apply it, for example. So if you have a triangle, as to when to apply it. If you have a triangle and you have two sides A, B, and you have the angle between them, um, it's the same procedure for using the cosine rule. So if you have two sides and the angle between, then this formula is very, very useful for finding the area of a triangle. So what we do is that we simply say the area is equal to half. Any side is A or B, so it's half times five times nine times the sine of the angle. Um, the sine of the angle here would be sine 52. And so we end up with um, 5 9 45 over 2 times the sine of 52. And this is just a simple procedure of putting it into your calculator and getting your answer. The only issue here to remember is once you're using a calculator, remember that you must have your um, angle mode in degrees. So 45 sine 52 over two would give us, once you punch it into your calculator, 17.7 .7 centimeters square. So there are three in interesting ways in which you can go about finding the area of a triangle using half base times height, using Heron's formula, or using this formula, half AB sine C. And now we're going to be looking at two interesting questions that pop up on multiple choice papers that involve the area of rectangles and squares and the area of, um, of triangles. So in this particular question here, um, the area of a rectangle is 53.6 centimeters square. And it says if the length is multiplied by four and the width is half, then what would the area be? So we know that to find the area of a rectangle, we say length times width. So in this case, 53, 0.6 um, would be equal to the length times the width. Now, what happens if you multiply the length by 4? So if you multiply the length by 4, we end up with 4L. And if you half the width, you end up with half W. Now, when we do this calculation here, we end up with 4 times a half is 2. So we end up with 2LW. And so 2 times length times width would mean that we would have to double this um, 53.6. So we get our answer here by saying 53.6 times 2, and that gives us um, 107.2 centimeters square. So that's, um, here we have our answer as B. So that's one way in which the questions tend to pop up on multiple choice. So these questions, they do come on paper two, and you will find examples of them on paper one as well. Here we have another one. The area of a triangle is 30 centimeters square. And we are talking about the perpendicular height. Um, what is the perpendicular height? So we know that the formula um, area being um, base times height, half base times height is being used. Or we can write it as half bh equal a. So that's the formula that is being used. Now what we know is that the area is 30. So half the 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 base is 10 so half times 10 times h is equal to 30 now half of 10 is 5 so we have a simple equation here 5h being 30 and we can do a simple division there um, to find our h
So now we know that H is six centimeters. So um, very interesting. We can work out the area of a rectangle using base times height, or in the case of a square, which is base times base or height times height or height square, base square. And we can find the area of a triangle using the formula half base times height, or we can use Heron's formula, or we can use the formula half AB sine C. Thank you for watching. I hope this um, short lesson would have been very interesting and, and useful to you. Continue working hard as you prepare for your exams and the best of luck.